Hello everybody! I'm taking off my mask for this cooking video so you can see my face, but I'm Farmer Hannah and today we are going to make three awesome dishes that will come together nicely. We are making a special roasted carrot hummus. We are also making pesto with the tops from our carrots and we are making flatbread so we can dip it in our yummy dips and enjoy it that way. So let's stick along and uh, let's see what we make. Most importantly, we need our harvest of the month, which for February is carrots. Um, and to do our roasted hummus, we are uh, roasting our carrots so that they come out all nice and tender and can blend up really nice. And the recipe, it says put whole carrots on a pan and roast them, but I cut them up so it'll be easier to blend up later. These are all of our ingredients for our hummus today. Over on this side of the blender, we have our ingredients for pesto. These are our yum carrot tops. And in the middle, we've got our shared ingredients today. So in both our hummus and our pesto, we need pepper, salt, olive oil, garlic, oops, and lemon juice. We're going to use the majority of our lemon juice today in our pesto because Mr. Z was really kind and made a really delicious tahini sauce. And this already has some lemon juice in it. So we won't need as much in our hummus today. But in our hummus today, we will need one full can or 15 and a half ounces of garbanzo or beans or chickpeas. We also need tahini. And if you aren't making the tahini sauce today, you will need a third a cup of just regular old tahini. And this is optional. If you don't have tahini available to you, don't worry about it. This just kind of helps make it a little bit more mm, flavorful, a little bit more creamy. We are also going to add our garlic today. In the recipe, it says that this is minced, but I'm leaving it whole because this is going to go in a blender and blend up really nicely. We also are adding chipotle pepper just because I like a little extra heat, as you may know, and ground cumin, and that will give this a nice flavor. We already have cumin in our tahini sauce, but a little bit extra never hurts. And to top our hummus when it's all done, I have some sunflower seeds. I have a little bit of extra carrot top um, chopped up. And we will also top it with our yummy olive oil. That's a really traditional way to do this. Moving on over to our pesto. As you can see, I have what looks like some little pebbles in this bin. These are actually pine nuts. And I've taken the extra step to toast them. I just took a minute and put my pine nuts whole in a skillet and um, just kept an eye on them because I want them nice and brown and toasty, but not burned. This is also an optional step. Again, our carrot tops. And I also have a big bunch of basil. And this is also optional. If you don't have basil available to you, that's fine. But I also recommend using really any other type of green that you have on hand, maybe spinach, or you could do radish tops, that's really good. And of course we have extra garlic. So this is about two cloves of garlic. We're starting with making our pesto today. And instead of using a food processor, which I don't have, is going to use a high powered blender and we're going to start by adding at this stage our garlic so I'm putting in a third a cup of pine nuts and I'm going to put the lid back on make sure we're all good and we're almost to our paste um, but I'm going to scrape down the sides All right, and you can see that when I did that, I noticed that I have a couple of whole pine nuts still in there. So I wanna make sure those are all nice and blended up. So that 
up's looking good. We have a nice coarse paste. And I'm going to add our carrot tops at this stage. So your carrot tops uh, might be a little bit difficult to find, especially this time of year um, in the grocery store. But I just found these by going to the organic section of Hagen or Safeway. Uh, and they had these whole carrots with the tops on. So I'm putting in about a third of a cup, but I'm just eyeballing and I can add more if I think I need to later on. I am also adding the basil because that's the step I'm taking into account. And if you want to add something extra like Parmesan cheese, which will make this really nice and nutty and creamy, you can do that at this stage as well. just kind of give this an extra push. I'm going to start to add in our olive oil. So I'm adding about a third of a cup, but again, I'm eyeballing today. Oops. So let's do a little glug and see if this helps. Also adding a little bit of lemon juice. I'm doing two tablespoons today. This will give it, this will help the flavors really pop that are in the carrot tops and the basil. Okay, so at this point I'm going to taste, see how much salt we'll need and pepper. Mm. That tastes really tasty. But we need about a teaspoon right now, I would say, of salt. I'm gonna do a little sprinkle of pepper. We're going to cut our recipe into thirds and just do this in steps of three. So I have already processed a third of our carrots and I added a little bit of the tahini mixture just as an extra liquid to help blend this up. So right now I'm going to add a third of my chickpeas, some lemon juice, and my garlic. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. This calls for three quarters of a teaspoon but again, I'm eyeballing today just because I kind of know what I like personally in my hummus. And we need cumin. This is very important to help get our nice hummusy taste, the one that you will remember. And I'm going to be a little bit liberal with the cumin just because I like it. And I know that Mr. Z and Farmer Grace like cumin as well. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna save the next step, which is olive oil, for when this comes together. And you'll see why that's important. So I can kind of eyeball when the emulsion is taking place in our hummus. And now uh, we are going to add some olive oil. And this will make this kind of almost like a mayonnaise. Um, if you've had really creamy hummus before, you know kind of the consistency is like really light and airy. So I'm going to not add all of my olive oil at once, but drizzle it in um, to kind of get to where I want to go. I'm gonna do a quick taste right now. Mm. This tastes perfect to me. I don't think I'll need to add any salt. I don't think I'll even add pepper today. I will add a little bit of chipotle on top when we spoon this into a bowl. But this tastes really like nutty. Um, it's sweet because of the carrots that are in here nice and roasty too. Like I really taste 
how roasty this is. So we're good to go. Thank you for joining us for part one of this video series where Farmer Hannah made carrot pesto and hummus. Be sure you follow along for part two where Mr. Z will make a special tahini sauce and Farmer Hannah will finish making our flatbreads to enjoy our dips with. Thank you!